Hi everybody, I'm the Reluctant Reviewer. And I'm QP83. And this is a, a little spotlight on a doll that you might have seen and wondered what it was or didn't know where it fit into the little dolly world. Um, so that's what we're going to show you today. Yeah, so these are Hug a Bunch. They um, have a his an interesting sort of history. They were produced by Hallmark and Kenner, and originally, much like Care Bears, they started off as greeting cards. So, uh, you mm -hmm. know, through through Hallmark. So, yeah, these guys had an interesting uh, introduction to the world as, you know, art, and then they were created into these cute little stuffed animals you see here. Very stuffed and very furry. Nice on a warm, on a cold night, you know. So the Hug a Bunch Gang uh, is a group of uh, dolls with a very special mission in life. It's to hug and be hugged in return. Uh, they come from a magical place called hug -a land that's filled with fun and is overflowing with heartwarming hugs. Uh, this happy little group's creed is promise to hug at least once a day. Uh, with each hug you get, you give two away. Aww. So really great sentiments. Doesn't exactly work for this particular time. <laughs> but if no. you're in a house and you've been with them, you know, you could probably you still give them. them a hug uh, or give your inanimate objects a hug. <laughs> right. I mean, they're cute. They're little curly haired little dolls. Um, yeah. And this is their buddy and they have Velcro on their hands. And they have a bracelet that says what their name is. So that... No, that doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. It was on the other side. Precious Hugs. Oh, Precious Hugs. Okay. So Precious Hugs is right over here with her baby, her huglet, um, which is named Fluffer. And then this is uh, Tickles with her baby named Giglet. And that's her original one. This one was found in a, in a swap shop somewhere along the way. Um, they also had, had premiums that you could get at Taco Bell. And they were these little guys, but they didn't look like this. They kind of looked like little angels where their hands were touched like this so that you could go hook their you hands. Know, clasp them yeah, together. Yeah, clasp them together. I have one in a box, but I didn't realize it was... Uh, part of it? Part of it. So, I mean, I knew it was related, but it didn't look like this baby, so I left yeah. it in there. But there's definitely one of those in there. Um, but yeah, that was apparently Taco Bell, which I don't remember, but I know we have some yeah, we in there. Um, and they are there, so there were eight dolls total, eight stuffed animals, and then they also had a line of vinyl ones. I don't um, remember the vinyl ones. There's at least promotional photos of vinyl ones, uh, and the, I basically just remember the, the stuffed ones myself. The site was also for the UK, so maybe they got more there than we got. And I know there was a site that, uh, a set of products that never even came out, um, but they were mostly girls. But there was a boy. Mm, there was a guy uh, in the line, uh, and they were just—they were fun, huggable dolls, like good size, still light. Mm -hmm. uh, this one's elastic is all sorts of yeah, uh, all sorts of messed up at the moment. This one too. <laughs> this one too. So if you do get one secondhand, there's a good chance the elastic on the outfit's going to be basically stretched out. And apparently some they had outfits that you could buy too for them, which mm -hmm. I don't remember seeing. You know, I might have seen the outfit. It probably came with just a little... Hug wear. With the little um, undies and the top that goes with it. I might have seen those, but I know I never saw the boy. And what was the boy's name? Uh, the boy is Hugsy. Hugsy. And he had a huglet named Tuggins. And um, they were multicultural, too. Yeah, different colors. And like I said, they also came in vinyl. And they had a line of furniture, too. They had a cradle and a bed. That I know um, I didn't see. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember seeing that. It was like actual wood furniture. Like, it wasn't just cheap plastic stuff. It was yeah. like made of wood. And it was, you know, really nice uh, cradle. And it had, like, and activities on there for, mm -hmm. the, for your doll to play with. Yeah. Their hair is really i don't think i'd be able to comb this it's very very curly and it's very dense and it's very stiff and it mm -hmm. needs some moisturizer yeah and your because girls. they're plush you can't exactly just wash their hair you know i wonder if you could have popped these into the washer i never did with yours but i wonder if there was a thing that said it maybe on in there. a bag maybe but um, they're cute. They've got these nice little inset eyes. They're little lashes. This one, her lashes are a little goofy on. I think the lashes, just because they are thicker, mm -hmm. um, you know, they will look a little weird on the plush skin just because they, like, they're stuck to them, yeah. basically. 
But yeah, cute little face, fun little smile. I'm just supposed to give him a hug. I love the dolls that came through with um, st their starting point as being a card because I remember all those little cards. And I think Popple probably did that too. I'm not probably. sure. Probably. But Rainbow Bright, I mean, big seller there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there were a lot of, uh, you know, toys that were themed around cards card back in the day. Card-related dolls. Why didn't we do that? <laughs> a card-related totally do doll. Yes. You don't have all your little Rainbow Bright stuff, though. No, I don't. They're in the boxes, though. So we thought we'd show them to you and see. Maybe it's something you've come across and you didn't know what they were and thought, what in yeah. the world? Because they probably lost their undies. <laughs> yeah. And were really a mess. Um, but let us know if you collect them, if you remember them, and um, we'll talk to you later. Bye.